little kitty baby. I'm sorry. Hello, everybody. Um, so I think today is May 16th. Oh, my little kitty baby. Hold on. I want to see if I can get her on camera. Can I get you on camera? No. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I think today is May 16th. Um, it's like five something in the morning of, uh, 2017. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find some decent lighting because, of course, it's, um, dark outside and everything. Um... Anyway, I wanted to talk about something that just happened. So, I've been uh, spending time, this is a personal video, by the way, and I'm just going to have to ignore my cat right now because I'm talking and she doesn't want to leave me alone. Anyway, uh, this is a personal video and everything, but um, I just want to talk about what just happened. Um... So, my weight loss journey, uh, it's so much stuff I want to kind of get into, but let me try to make it short and sweet. For several years of my life, I was over 300 pounds, and I got hit on extremely rarely. It was extremely rare that someone would say, hey, can I have your number? Or, hey, you want mine? Or whatever in the heck. That was even rarer um, than me getting hit on. And I rarely got hit on. Then I lost weight back starting in 2014. I lost weight. And a whole new world opened up to me. And especially the next year, when, which was 2015, when I broke out of the 240s and the 230s and even the 220s and even the two teens and got down to as low as 209. Now, for reference, I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I'm a busty girl. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of my belly is showing because I'm wearing a uh, cami, or not a cami, a crop top. But, you know, I'm a busty girl. And it gave me a curvaceous figure, you know, even though I would consider myself to be an apple shape, it gave me a curvy figure when I lost a bunch of weight, you know. And men responded to that new curvy figure. My face was prettier, not so much, you know, like right now, you guys see the fullness of my face, you know. But there was a time when all this fat was like gone and stuff and my features were more defined and you know I was the bomb diggity to men and I got hit on a lot then I fell into a depression late 2015 that went into 2016 a lot of stuff was going on whatever and I ended up regaining weight. And with that regain also came lowered self-esteem. It was like the light that had been inside of me shining super brightly had been snuffed out. And I was no longer that super happy, bubbly, positive person that I once was. I tried to hold on to it, but eventually it went away completely. And before I knew it, what was, let's say, t uh, 10, 15, 20 pounds of regain became 30, 40, 50 pounds of regain. Now I find myself at at least 55 pounds up, approximately, from where I started, somewhere in that range. And yesterday, May 15th, I woke up. Stepped on the scale, saw that I was 264.6 with my clothes on, and I just felt like giving up. I called a friend, really sad about it, and I was just bitching and whining and complaining, and he was very kind to me, and he listened to me, and he said, you know, I think you're holding on to some spiritual stuff. I think that's your problem. It's not... Um, you know, 
the physical, the physical is manifesting the emotional stuff inside of you. Now, I don't know how true that is, and I'm not going there, but I'm just saying this is what my friend told me. Then, later that eve, well, two things happened. For one, I thought about it, and I thought, I don't care how dark it is, I am never, ever going to give up on myself, ever. <laughs> no matter how dark it gets, because there's nothing in it for me to give up on myself. There's no victory and forfeit. That's one. Not at all. Not even a little bit. At least if I fight, there's a chance I can overcome it. But if I give up, it'll never happen. That's one. Two is later that night, or tonight, I should say, I hung out with a friend of mine. This isn't just any friend. This is the person who I've grown the closest to. This is someone who I have been giving my body to for almost four months now. You know, um, that I've been giving my heart to, that I've been giving every part of me to this person. He and I had dated for six weeks. I broke things off because there were things that were very unresolved on his end, and I won't get into it. But he knows that these were serious issues. I mean, these were undeniable, tangible, serious issues that needed to be worked out. And they ended up working themselves out, but the problem is when I broke up with him... He no longer had an interest in uh, dealing with me romantically anymore, at least not officially. Unofficially, we were still playing the part of a couple in terms of, like, still being affectionate, kissing, hugging, cuddling, having sex, the whole nine yards. But, but officially, I was his amiga, you know, as he told um, a woman at his job. You know, um, I'm his amiga, you know, and to me, he was saying I was his fuck buddy. I told him I regretted the breakup, that, you know, now we actually had a chance of working out and that I wanted to get back together. And he let me know that was never going to happen and that he no longer had romantic feelings for me. But he was still into my private area, okay? He was still into my sex, but just not me. You know, I wasn't good enough. He was still cool with hanging out with me, spending time with me, but I wasn't good enough. Um, as more than just a F buddy, whatever. And I told him something tonight that I've known for a while, which is that the old me would not be putting up with this shit. And when, one of the things that I hate about being fat the way that I am is that I'm not so fat that I can't get a boyfriend anymore. Like when I was over 300 pounds, when it was hard to get a boyfriend. Okay, it's like now I'm fat and I can get a boyfriend. I'm just small enough to get a boyfriend. But I can't get a decent guy. I can't get a guy who thinks I'm worth the shit. And that's what sucks. So anyway, that's why I am going to get this weight off of me. You watch and see. Goodbye.